Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today's video is a little different. I'm doing a deep dive into a project called Uniquely. It's an NFT project that looks to join the digital world and the physical world. It hasn't been done before yet in the NFT space, in cryptocurrency in general. And I thought I'd put a little bit of a different spin on it. There are other videos on this topic. However, I want to relate it to something that you might be familiar with and I'm also familiar with as well. Now, I'm a little bit stubborn when I try to figure out these projects. That's why I stick to charts. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, this is the first time you're seeing it, I do a lot on uh, trading the charts. I look at charts and I understand those. I get those pretty damn right. When it comes to looking at projects and getting the fundamentals, sometimes I struggle a little bit. I was trying to figure out why we needed a project where we could get an NFT and make it physical. That just defeats the purpose. However, there are some people who, well, there's a lot of people in the space that really want their NFT brought to life. And that's what Uniquely is trying to achieve. Now, the little special thing is you, you see these shirts that I wear. Of course, if you're a familiar viewer of the channel, you see these shirts that I have. They're off a website called Redbubble. Now, you've probably seen these before. I've got them here on the hangers. There's my favorite Doge shirt. And I've got my Bitcoin shirts that you're aware of. And my Ethereum shirts that you're aware of. You, you get the point, right? Whatever you like, you can then print it out, funds are safe, the memes, and put it onto a shirt. I thought, what the hell is the point of this? I can just do that from Redbubble. However, the beauty of Uniquely is that it becomes a uh, custodial and it does it the other way around. So you're basically trusting a service that can verify that the NFT is real piece of uh, like digital form of art and then you can sell it to someone else in the space. And that can just remain digital until someone says they want it physical. And so I can just trade this digitally until someone says, I want to print that off and I want the, the physical form of that shirt. So that's pretty much what Uniquely is about. However, I want to go into uh, a few more details around their token, their team, my experience with them, and my uh, looking at the charts as well. So I wanted to give this a deeper dive in my own unique way. If that sounds interesting and exciting to you, let me know, hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more cryptocurrency content done in my own specific unique way. Let's have a look at what the project is about, the team and a few other pieces of the puzzle. This is what I have coming up for you guys. Small cap NFT altcoin gem. We're sitting around $8 million market cap. I'll look at the charts in a moment and give you a bit of an idea of where I see the price going in the short and maybe medium term. They have an engine partnership. The company's name is Uniquely. So I'm putting here just being as completely open as honest as I can with this uh, sponsored segment. So I'll let you know this is sponsored, but I want to deep dive into it and enjoy the process of figuring out what the company's about and if there is potential for it. I've spent a lot of time on text messages and on phone calls with the team, with Hubert in particular. And that's why I've got team down here, professionalism, vision for the brand, product market fit, marketing, tokenomics, and the speed of how they are going to roll out the development of the project. I want to be confident in those things before I bring something to you on the channel. Lastly, technical analysis and price trends. I've got the stuff that they want me to talk about. That's fine. I don't have a problem with these things and they're important things to know about the project as well. And I also want to give you my personal opinion, as I've just mentioned here. My experience with putting this together is around Redbubble, as I mentioned in the intro. So this is simply what they're trying to achieve. You have the project, someone has a piece of art, like this poster or this shirt or shop stickers, whatever it is, you like it, you buy it, you can hold it digitally, you can trade it on, and then when someone wants it, they can print it out physically and take full delivery of this piece. Someone's gonna have to pay uh, delivery and that's gonna be the, the buyer. And then they can also go the other way around. I can have this digital thing. You might wanna buy this Satoshi Seinfeld shirt from me and I can put it onto uh, Uniquely and create the NFT and then I send this to Uniquely. <laughs> They'll verify that it's real, keep it in storage. I pay for storage in their facility, in their secure warehouse facility. And then I can put it up online onto their marketplace and someone can bid to buy this particular physical shirt already. And it becomes an NFT then. That stays in their warehouse 
until you want to take delivery of that physical piece. And so this could work for, say, I get more famous on YouTube, but I sell this off now. That could increase in value. So you're taking a gamble on the creator or the influencer. And obviously that will just apply to any field, anything in sports, anything in music, anything in the media, any politician, whatever it is that they could be value in. We're now bringing the uh, physical back to the digital. And so as I talked about in the intro, I want to get excited about something that I'm talking about. I can, it, it takes a little bit for me to get excited when it comes to these projects because they, there are so many of them. But after, as I said, spending a lot of time with the guys, it started to make a hell of a lot more sense as to why I can get excited about something, which I think there is so much of there out there. But in this case, we're looking at digital to physical, physical back to digital, and they're creating the warehouse for it. As you can see for this company, this is an Aussie company. They went from 50 cents back in the crash to about seven bucks. This is a stock, but it's uh, an example of the company actually going from a lower price to a higher price because of the demand for the service. We don't have anything in the digital space of this at the moment. Market cap is around a billion dollars for these guys. And this is just the Australian market. Uniquely is international. Anyone can buy this token. They're currently at $8 million market cap. At their peak at for Redbubble in Australia, it's only traded on the Australian stock exchange, the SIG was at around seven bucks. So we've basically come down 50%. So it was nearly a $2 billion company only on the Aussie stock exchange. Now, before I get too carried away with the rest of the details, professionalism that I've experienced from the team has been fantastic. I've spoken to Hubert, the marketing uh, CMO of the company, and he's on the website as well. Fantastic guy answered all my questions. I dig in quite hard to figure things out. And if you have other questions, let us know in the comments down below and I'll leave the links to Uniquely's uh, socials in the description. Vision for the brand, spot on. Check out the website. They're really targeting a niche that hasn't been met yet in cryptocurrency. And there are uh, a lot of people looking for to be able to take physical possession of the NFTs that they have bought. So you've got cards or shirts or artwork or anything like that no one does that yet. And so they're partnering with manufacturers who can uh, distribute the products that you have purchased. Of course, there's the question mark of who are these manufacturers and is it going to be quality? Uh, but I think from what I've seen so far, everything looks like they've got quality underway. That's going to be another question mark, of course. Uh, product market fit, as I said, there's just nothing in the space for this at the moment. So if I do want to take possession, uniquely is the only place I can go. Marketing, big one. I think their marketing is pretty much on point. They're hitting the right areas. They've got uh, sponsored posts going out on news channels. And I know people hate sponsored posts. People will be like, what are you talking about a company that's sponsored? This is how it works. And I wanted to dig deeper into how the business can go get around this or how they can get their marketing right and still remain true to their core vision, their core message. And so it's a bit of a catch-22. You've got to get some marketing done, but then people, you've got to make it fit so people are understanding what the product is and it's just not a simple shill. Tokenomics, looking good. We'll look at that as well. Speed of getting uh, products to the market, so far so good because they have an NFT shirt launch, which is launching today, the 12th of May, 5 p.m. Central European time. Team also on the website, we'll have a look at that. So. So far, my opinion of them is quite good. I've, as I said, talked to them for several weeks. I hit them hard. I, I like the team. But just because I like the team doesn't mean they're going to be a great team. I'm looking at them here on the website, the executive team, Christopher, Matt, Matt and Hubert, who have, I've dealt with. Fantastic guy. Uh, team. He was on Team Finance and Trust Swap and has led the organization to be acquired after five months of development. So you guys might be familiar with Trust Swap's pretty big uh, cryptocurrency project. And these guys have also been in the space five years experience in executive as an executive in business strategy and marketing. So they've got the experience behind them to get this done. And from what I can see, it's looking quite good. Now, why do people want to buy Unique and why would you want to buy the token itself? There's about eight different options they've given you here. We've got to make up our minds whether these are going to be sufficient enough to increase the price. First thing is commission discounts on each purchase and sale on our platform in return for holding Unique tokens. So you get commission discounts, you hold the tokens on the platform, basically like a staking, uh, staking reward. 15% of the profits from the platform are paid to unique holders as ETH rewards. So you're getting ETH back for uh, holding the token. So 15% of the profits from the, the platform. 15% of the profits from the platform are spent on buybacks and burn of unique. 
So now we're getting a deflationary cryptocurrency, whereas the unique is now getting burnt up. I know everyone loves that in the space at the moment. It's quite a big narrative to, uh, to, to understand and to use in your project. Unique token holders receive more profits in our affiliate program. Unique tokens can be staked for special NFT rewards, discount on products and services, access to exclusive collections for owners of at least 10,000 unique. That's going to get much more difficult as the token price increases, which we'll have a look at. Option to highlight and promote auctions will be available only to unique token holders. Let's have a look at the price now. And on CoinGecko, it's at four bucks. So for 10,000 to hold 10,000, it's going to be around $40,000. We've seen a little bit of a spike today because we have the news of the t-shirt, their first t-shirt drop. Uh, their NFT t-shirts, and we've gone from about $340 to about $4. So it's had a reasonable increase just today. Overall, we are starting to break out of some highs. We had a low of about $250, but I'll get to the chart in just a tick. This is Unique versus Ether, and of course Ethereum's gone on a massive run at the moment, and it's just starting to find its support here, Unique versus Ethereum. So this is a pretty strong sign for the unique token because it's even showing uh, signs of strength against Ethereum, which has run up 100% over the last uh, couple of weeks. So unique is even increasing in value against Ethereum for the last week. Now, I'm not saying this is a low in place, but it is looking uh, okay at the moment. If this was to break, which I've got an alert here, uh, then probably not such a strong uh, position for unique. The next piece I want to see is get above the uh, 0.0013 level of Ethereum. Back to the dollar value, and we can see that we have broken out. So if you're only interested in dollars, we've got a breakout on the resistance here at around $4. So you can see a high here, another high, another high, and now we've broken out. So that's a good sign for uh, unique against the US dollar. Now looking at the tokenomics, I've got it under my personal opinion, but I'm just going to give you my thoughts on how the tokenomics will play out and what will happen to the price. So I've got their white paper here. We'll look at what they have sold so far and for how much, because we know the current price is at $4. Their seed sales uh, sold out extremely quickly. It's been known that they sold out in 10 minutes and also four minutes for these last two sales, the public sale of 3 million unique and the public sale of 3.6 million. So they're only raising 680 grand and call it a million dollars. So $1.7 million they sold out for in 14 minutes at 23 cents and 27 cents. So keep in mind, these first people are up, these first public investors are up close to around a 15x. The private sales are up around 20x because they're in at about 18 cents and 19 cents. Again, quite small uh, seed round. So I like that it's not a greedy project looking for tens of millions of dollars. It's only just a few million bucks in here. Uh, and they've, they've managed to secure that very, very quickly. So there's a lot of interest in it for, um, for Unique. So this pre-sale hard cap is at $2 million with a Uniswap listing price of 40 cents. So everyone in this first, th these first rounds were all up and we are now 10 times the value of the first uh, Uniswap listing. Now, just because we're about 10 times up from the Uniswap listing price doesn't mean that all the gains have been had. At an $8 million market cap, I think we can see a, a lot bigger gains from this point. Looking at the release schedule, we're in mid-May now. The token was released in mid-April, so we're one month in. There's 2 million tokens on the market. However, there is 3 million that could be released. So there's a million that are still not being sold. And I think that's because the the buyers, the original uh, public and private sale, I don't think these guys are selling out yet for an $8 million market cap. Looking at the NFT space, you can see things get into the hundreds of millions of dollars. That's what I would be expecting to occur uh, as we get more and more volume into the market, then they'd probably be selling off. But for now, I think a lot of them are going to be holding all the way through this, this period. And so the tokens will be released, but I don't think they're going to be pumped out onto the market, especially at an $8 million market cap uh, with the potential in a project like this. As the token sales were quite fast to sell out, uniquely we're also trending on DexTools.io. So I think they've done this quite strategically well by not going over the top, $2 million a hard cap, $2 million hard cap. And I think that also lends itself to them understanding marketing as well. So if you get that that speed out of the gate, a lot of interest, 
It's just like marketing on top of itself. And of course, they got trending on Dextools.io. Some other fantastic resources from Uniquely, if you want to dive deeper into the project, their Medium, their Medium blogs are fantastic. We've obviously talked about their Uniquely uh, partnership with Engine. And so this is going to help the NFT space uh, to basically be emissions free or cost free when they are minting NFTs. Uh, and uh, uniquely are going to be holding the engine tokens. So they're going to be the purchasing so that they can give you free NFT use on that platform. So when you're minting an NFT, it's going to be free rather than any sort of high gas fees. That partnership in more detail is essentially uniquely using Affinity, which is engines blockchain purpose built for NFTs. Uniquely also partnered with Chainlink for their NFT t-shirt drop. So it's for that specific purpose. Uniquely has a lot in the pipeline, so we've looked at that on the roadmaps. There's an app that they're creating where you can generate your own NFTs. There's also their marketplace, which we can then trade the NFTs on. And then of course, there's the custodial and the materialization of the NFT into a physical product. These are all due out later in 2021 and 2022. As you can see here, they've got centralized exchange listing coming up, launch of the marketplace and item creation tool, more strategic partnerships coming up, Quarter four is the escrow module launch, exploring transitions to cross-chain solutions like Polkadot or Binance Smart Chain, adding the possibilities of materializing NFT tokens purchased outside of the ecosystem. And I think that will be a big key to bringing more use case to their platform and of course to the unique token, which hopefully, you know, we get that nice price increase of unique. The price has bumped a little bit. There's a lot of news coming out at the moment. They're doing their NFT t-shirt drop the thing I see with these sorts of projects is you need to get the news coming out for the price to pump. And if we don't continue to get the news coming out, then the price can, will basically fade off until more news comes. There's, it's a bit of a catch-22. You need to be holding it at the lower prices to get the bigger increases, but at the same time, you want the token to pump and make some money. The way I look at this and the way I, I would look to play it is a dollar cost averaging at lower prices while the news isn't so hot. And then once this news comes out and you've got the big stuff with centralized exchanges coming out in quarter three and lead up into more strategic partnerships and the launch of their escrow and all these sorts of things, I would expect the price to then surge from that point. This is what I've come to expect from smaller cap cryptocurrencies, especially ones in the under $10 million range. It takes a bit of work, takes a bit of time, but the patience generally pays off, especially in a bull market. Now, if we happen to fall into a bear market at some point while the, the, the parts of their roadmap were getting laid out, then I would expect all bets are off, regardless of what a company is doing. This goes across the entire cryptocurrency space. It's really going to come down to whether we remain in a bull market or a bear market. But currently, Uniquely is positioned quite well within this bull market to get the release of their roadmap items out in time for a bit of a price pump. Now to wrap up, that is not financial advice. This is the deep dive I've done on Uniquely, talking with the team, doing my research, and looking at the charts as well. I hope you enjoyed my unique look at Uniquely in my own particular way, as opposed to the same old repetitive cycle of looking at websites. I've tried to piece the project together in order for me to understand what it is they are trying to achieve and whether I think there is potential in the project moving forward. Do you have a different opinion? Do you like to see this idea of digital into the physical and then physical back into the digital? Do you think that's a smart thing? Let us know in the comments down below as I got here. Do you prefer digital only? Any questions you got for the founders? Let us know. Comments down below and I'll leave the links to all of Uniquely socials in the description. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter for daily Q&As and, of course, crypto news on Twitter. Uh, thank you once again. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.